and so it begins. Well, I didn't think we'd be able to get this off the ground. But you don't have a daughter like my Kes. She sorted it all out for me. She just did it. Praise God for daughters and sons, come to think of it. I just wanted to thank you for already starting it. Hang on, I've got my clicky bar, I'm going too big there, aren't I? Oh, that's even worse. That'll have to do. I said I wasn't going to use this again. And Mark went and left me a thing saying, please use it again. And now, of course, now I'm sitting here. It's of use. First of all, I wanted to thank Anne for her contribution. I love it when we have scripture. You know, whether we do it um, in a, a video, whether we write it, prayers, whether we pray it in a video, whether we write it, um, and to have Violet Kitty with us. Thanks ever so much, darling, for taking the time to be with us. You know, I remember when I first went to restministries.org and uh, people said, how can you write prayers? And uh, I must be honest, at first I thought myself, how will it work? And then it just became as natural as breathing. It was just the easiest thing in the world. And then once we started praying, sometimes we'd meet up at a certain time. Well, obviously we did because we had the chat rooms, but, you know, and we would just chat away. And then we turned to prayer, and it was the most natural thing in the world. And so, even though, for me, sometimes I prefer videos because Sometimes, depending on what drugs I've, I've taken, legitimately I may have, sometimes I find typing very hard. Sometimes when my face is very bad, as it is now, but God is giving me this few moments of peace, um, I find that talking is better. Typing is better, should I say, if my face is bad. So the only thing I thought I would add I am going to do my testimony um, for Violet Kitty because of course there are some of you, probably including Violet Kitty, who doesn't know my testimony. Um, you know, I don't know if I can remember far back that way now, but I'll try. But the only thing I thought I'd do today is just to add or to confirm what Anne said. Because what Anne said, when you look at the words and you think, hang on Lord, are you behind this after all? And I think at the beginning of something new, we want to know that, yes, God is behind it, that we are doing it for the right reasons. Um, and so the only thing I thought I'd do, I wish I could put this thing down, the only thing I thought we'd do is I'd just read the same portion of scripture. I'd just probably reach the first five verses just because I like to, one thing I don't like doing, and I did a bit of it this morning actually, which I shouldn't have done. I don't like just using one portion of scripture. Uh, some people, some very nice, kind people, will use an odd portion of scripture to back up their brand of Christianity. But of course we don't do that, do we? You know, we have to have the whole bit. Um, so just 
also I find with the message um, if you take just one verse it can sometimes sound very harsh because the message is more you know abrupt and up there in your face you know so I just thought I'd read Proverbs 2 verses 1 to 5 if I may I can't hear anyone saying no, so I'll take that as a yes. And the title of it is Make Insight Your Priority. Good friend, take to heart what I'm telling you. Collect my counsels and guard them with your life. Tune your ears to the world of wisdom set your heart on a life of understanding. That's right, if you make insight your priority and won't take no for an answer. Searching for it, like a prospector panning for gold, like an adventurer on a treasure hunt. Believe me, before you know it, fear of God will be yours you'll have come upon the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Well, we have come upon the knowledge of God. Oh, that gives me a tingle. I think that's fabulous. So that's just to confirm. Um, Oh, it is nice to be able to call people their proper names. Hallelujah. Okay. So welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to what's going to be a wonderful, wonderful group just of gaining knowledge and friendship and searching out what God wants and more than anything, the Word of God. Hallelujah. So, against my better wishes, my better judgment, I mean, with my clicky bar, I'm out of here. But I'll say God bless. And I love you all. And thank you so much for starting this off, Kerry. Thank you, my darling. You're my precious, precious girl. Thank you. I feel like I want to say, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Bye, darlings.